I'm back with another Dreamcast stream. Um, right, we're not doing Sonic tonight. I'm gonna do another game that is really good. Let me load it up real quick. There we go, and let me get the chat open. Oh, and uh, let me just get OBS over there. And oh, shit, I forgot something. Sorry, we're doing this live, folks. There. Had to get the game window recorded. Jet Set Radio! Somewhere in Asia, there's a city that cannot be found on any map called Tokyo Tokyo. But everyone just calls it Tokyo. The two hottest things in the streets of Tokyo Tokyo are the punks wearing magnetically driven inline skates powered by newly developed Metroid batteries and Jet Set Radio, a pirate radio station manned by the DJ Professor K that plays nothing but non-stop hardcore music. Those street punks have been named Rudy by the people of Tokyo Tokyo. They roam the streets and cover the city with their personal graffiti, claiming that it is their way of expressing themselves to the world. However, ever since the Metropolitan Government and the financial conglomerate, the Rukkaka Group, combined their efforts to co-found the 21st Century Project, the streets of Tokyo Tokyo have never been the same again. Police crackdowns on the Rudies have become more severe, and Captain Onishima is more anxious than ever to put them behind bars. The streets of Tokyo Tokyo are ready to explode. So, um, a weird issue with the, uh, uh, PC version of this game is that those cutscenes, the audio is desynced, so it just kind of cuts off, like, really quickly. So I have to do that really, really difficult trick, which is skate and then land on top of a car. I told you it was hard. It took me a few tries to get up there. Just a sec, let me move the couple windows over here just so I can read things a little better. Yeah, unfortunately this is one of those games that like mutes when you uh, don't have it focused. Yeah, I, I mean, I would say that there's no, there wouldn't be a Jet Set Radio 3, but given like the way that Sega's been running lately, Maybe? <coughs> I mean, I'm sure they've got time in their schedule between like a hundred different Yakuza games to uh, release a new Jet Set Radio.
and now we have to recruit another gang member. <coughs> Let's get to this tutorial and then we'll be able to do the game proper. This, this is like the, the video game formality. tab showing once again men just don't know how to respect boundaries Let's do that. Out of my way, kid. Inline skates, grabbing cars. It's like that game Skitchin, except worse. I know what I said. Oh, no. Uh oh. It is possible to be like uh, carried outside of a level if you're stuck on a vehicle like that. As long as it doesn't involve me running into cars, yeah, I could do that last run. Okay, great. Now it's time to actually play some Jet Set Radio. Right, that's good. That's good life advice, actually. Next time I see a police officer, I'll just start just. Taking off. Hey out there, this is Tokyo's very own number one pirate power station, Jet Set Radio! Over the hood, through the streets, and right into your brain. We're transmitting our signal straight to you. Y'all got your antennas on or what? Yeah, we're riding high in a smooth stream of supersonic sound. And I'm your captain and DJ, Professor K. Jet Set Radio! Three games are fighting for the Tokyo streets. In the west, the Vincent Cho, the city of the night. We got those high-tech maniacs, those man machines, the noise tanks. And in the east, from Kogane Cho, the city of the sunset, it's that crazy monster mask wearing gang, Poison Jam. And from Shibuya Cho, in the south, the city of daylight, it's those troublemaking punks, the Gigi. The GG's home turf, Shibuya Cho was just a tap. Was it Poison Jam? 
They were talking about spreading our day. Or maybe it was the noise tape. Trying to send a system crash through the whole city. Listen up, all you innocent fools out there. Officer Onishima has got some special order in Satsu bracelets all ready for you. So, get yourself to the bathroom and brush those teeth, boys and girls. Because a whole load of trouble is heading your way. Check that out real quick. All right, well, level one in Shibuya. Uh, yeah, I'll pick them. Now for this particular run, I'm just gonna pick different characters for each level. I know that's like not the best way to get like a good rank or a high score, but it's whatever. I've already done it on other files. Oh, how is the audio, by the way? Oh, shit. Because this is a game that has a big focus on its music. And I'd like people to be able to hear it. It was actually probably a bad idea. I should have tagged all the buses first. Oh well. So when this first came out on PC like years ago, I rigged up a deal with um, Joy the Key and an actual Dreamcast controller and played that game th through, uh, through that method. Um, this time I'm just using a PlayStation 4 controller because as much as I like the Dreamcast, I did not like that controller at all. <laughs> Oops, I messed up. Hey, get the hell off me, cop. The real crimes uh, you should uh, be dealing with. And got a bump into you. Get those free cans. Those little icons I'm picking up, those are new uh, graffiti tags that I can use. You can also make your own. Uh, now, in like the early Dreamcast days, you had to try and draw that shit out with a controller, and that's bad. Uh, but with on PC, there is like a third party program where you can draw your own graffiti, which is what I've done. Uh, I won't be doing it here because my uh, the, the graffiti I actually made will probably get me kicked off of Twitch if I use it. Um, so you know, I'll just use what, what Sega gave me. Oh, new thing that the PC version added? Oh, uh, you could retry a level. So if you actually do want to get the highest score, you can do that. Because before, you just had to reset the game and reload your save file. Which was bullshit. Those cats who ransacked Shibuya Cho turned out to be the love shockers. Love broke their hearts, and now they're looking to do some breaking of their own. 
Watch out for these psychos. When you see their heart shaped graffiti around, you know someone somewhere is crying with the ooky ooky waku waku feeling. Can the GG save Shibuya Cho from the trap of love? Or is it too late? Who are you calling a trap, buddy? Yeah? <laughs> oh, actually, wait, let me uh, go over to the graffiti setting. Yeah, those are the new ones that I got. Right. Uh, wait, what was I doing? Oh yeah, the radio. Yeah. So this is like the sound test, right? And let's see. If I remember right, I think it was here, or it was in like the main menu, where you could listen to music from Jet Set Radio Future. And Sega, they they pulled the wool over our eyes. They had us believing that uh, that game was coming out on a modern system, and it never did. <coughs> uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do Kagane Trio first. I'll pick Tab for this one. And first things first. Get that graffiti soul. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still kind of getting over a cough that I've had, which is why I haven't been streaming in uh, a very long time. Anyway, so I did stream a bit of Sonic Adventure on Sunday. And when I did that, I told a kind of a brief story about how um, I got my got my Dreamcast in like 2003, and then I moved into my apartment in uh, 2005 because I was still in high school in uh, 2003. Um, and uh, fuck, I'm kind of stumbling over my words here while I'm looking at the video game. Um, <laughs> Anyway, so like I was saying, like when I first moved in, there wasn't really much to do because I didn't have cable or internet. So all I would do is just like go to like the pawn shop or like the used game store, or, like the library. That's so why I think you cop. And then like just play a bunch of Dreamcast games. And. While I was playing this game, because I actually got uh, this game at the time, I went to the library and I picked up a series of, like, I don't want to say, like, noir style of mystery novels, but they kind of were. They were, like, detective mysteries about. <sighs> Hold on, I'm, I'm getting murdered. And, oh, that's a bad idea. Oh, that was a bad time. Anyway, before those dogs interrupted me, I read a series of books about a, um, like a, I think it was like a newspaper or magazine writer living in Japan and would like solve these, uh, each book would be its own mystery. And he would just like, his skill set was just like, here are things that I picked up covering other stories. And I would later find out that all the books were written by an extremely white man. So the depiction of Japan wasn't necessarily the most realistic. It was very kind of, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? Romanticized? 
but when you're 18 years old and stupid, you don't really know any better. So I'm reading these books and then I'm playing this game, so it gave me this very... Um, so it gave me this like very clear mental picture of Japan. And like, wow, I'd really like to go there someday. I mean, I'd still like to go at some point, even knowing that that country has its problems, especially uh, in regards to LGBT issues. Though on the plus side, the chance of just straight up being murdered by a random passerby is pretty low. And, okay, yeah, I see the other one. See, if I had played as Gum, I would have gotten a jet rank, because her graffiti score is higher than both uh, Tab and uh, Beat. This is your very own guerrilla broadcaster, Jet Set Radio! Uh. Use this city as your canvas and paint us some vibes from the streets. And now for our local news, while the GDs were busy going after Kogane Cho, their faithful pup Pox was kidnapped! Woo -hoo! I guess he'll be classified as dog napping, huh? I wonder how much rants you get for a dog. The case out to is staying out of this one, so y'all better keep an eye on your own dogs too. Poison Jam! Them horror freaks are really pissed. They haven't seen a good slasher flick in months. And after the action in Kogane Cho, they're out for revenge. It looks like we might be facing a bloodbath here. Better put on your garlic, honey, because the vampires are on the prowl. Ha 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 Alright. I... Well, we'll see what this is first. Alright. Um, I'll pick gum again. Anyway, um, it is possible to get Potts the dog as a playable character. I just kind of forgot how to do it. <laughs> so, I'll just kind of go through and, and hope I, I do it right. Because I don't want to like pause the stream and like go to Game Facts and look it up. That's right. hey. I'll show you a hard one. Because let me tell you, that's definitely not it. I can do that. And, well, maybe I can't because I just did not get enough speed. Alright, let's try that again. Um. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, there you go. Third time's a charm. So now we have Garum. He's... not especially great, but he has a lot of health. There, There is like one mission type that uh, you can use a lot of HP for. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's look it up. Let's look up how to unlock Pots the dog. Uh, oh, Google wants to show me Pots dog house. Uh, here we go. Oh, uh, okay. Never mind, I have to actually unlock every other character first. And, uh. 
not doing that now. Because that's New Game Plus only. But let's keep going through Kogane Trail. Might as well play as Garam, we unlocked him. <coughs> ah, sorry. Sorry again. so that I get the big one done first. And then I can do like the smaller uh, one can tags. And did I get it? I didn't get it. I fucked up. I just really like the Kogane Cho area in this game. I mean, I like most of the areas in this game, but now there's one. supposed to be like a hidden thing here, or if I push two civilians around before the chopper shows up, I get something. I don't know what though. You think I know, I've been playing this game for the last 13 years. I just to get Oni, uh, Onishima. I almost called him Onigashima. I forget who's who, uh, name that belongs to. Oh, what the? And I just have to get the small ones now. Alright. And yeah, you can take down those helicopters by spraying them. There's one. Oh, just gotta make sure you don't touch the uh, the wreckage. That hurts. And I fucked up. And got it. I'm sitting here and I just realized I think I forgot to put a link to the stream on social media. So I think only people on Discord know that I'm streaming right now. <laughs> oh, sorry.
Yeah, this is like one of my favorite songs on that whole soundtrack. And oh, I'm gonna take some damage. Well, I mean, I've hope like I know I I, I don't particularly I, I've kind of taken uh, a break from Twitter, but I'm still using like Tumblr and I'm still using uh, Mastodon as well. Oh, hi, Nair. Garam, he's, he's not particularly good when it comes to graffiti or doing tricks. <coughs> this is Tokyo's hard walking, truth talking, always walking, Jet Set Radio! Even the Kasatsu tune in here when they're not eating donuts. Fuck like the, the police. The, streets of show with their graffiti. the poison jammers are hopping away like little frogs. If the genies go after them, Kogane Show will be all there. Alright, so let me go into my graffiti setting. <coughs> ah, sorry. Okay, uh, never mind. I don't recall how to import uh, user-made graffiti into the game, so I just won't bother. Um, you know what? Let's play this beat. Oh, actually, you know what? This actually would have been a much better level to play as Garum. Because then I would have gotten more points for having more health because uh, trick score and the TV score doesn't really matter here. Oh, well, actually, that's that's sort of a shortcut. Yeah, Sega was kind of like ahead of their time in regards to um, in regards to police brutality. Shit. Yeah, at the time, Sega's like, "Look, we got the Dreamcast. What what do you got? The GameCube? Shit. <laughs> ah, uh, you're not gonna last." Yeah, I mean, you don't really hear stories about the police over here, over uh, in Japan. You always hear about like the ones that are here, or in like other like countries. Mostly like countries that uh, we have like a racist agenda against. But you know, you never really hear about it over over there. Like, obviously, I know that they're not great by any means, but. Because, hey, you, Japan is a deeply conservative country. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know if you were here for it, Nair, but I actually did talk about when I was 18, uh, playing this game and reading the series of books um, about, like, a fictionalized Japan, thinking, wow, this place is cool, but it's like... Okay, so you were here for that. I just, you know, sometimes I gotta... Gotta make sure sometimes. Look, I'm not used to having, like, an audience in chat that isn't just, like, outright trolling me. Brother. 
like that time I streamed Sonic Adventure a couple years ago, and for like two hours, no one bothered to tell me that the game audio wasn't recording. Yeah, this is Sonic Adventure 3. We'll leave your mama gawking and your daddy walking. We'll what up, Knuckles? Baddest Buccaneers, we're Jet Set Radio. Poison Jam is finished. They're worm food. And there ain't no sequels in the works for these monsters. They're in the grave for good. Whoa, all of a sudden a big black car came by and picked up Poison Jam, snatched him right away. So is this a real kidnapping this time? Or maybe it's just the garbage collector. That was one cool garbage truck, all right? There was a piece of a broken record in a mask that got left behind. Is there a clue here somewhere? Why was he hiding something like that so carefully? Or maybe it was just a piece of junk. Haha. <laughs> oh no, we, we murdered the other gang by just making them inhale spray paint fumes. Uh, alright. Let's do Shibuya Cho. And I'll just pick Gum again, because she's cool. Cooler than the other characters so far. We will be getting more characters and uh, I'll be going through them because they're great and of course the problem is that I did not unlock poison jam uh, finishing every level in a particular section with like the highest ranking you can unlock that gang to play as Tag that cop. Uh, uh, fine, forget it. Let's not let's not overshoot the bridge. Ah, not quite. Although, I will say one thing about Japan that I w am interested in is like just seeing like how the apartments and stuff are like literally right next to like convenience stores and stuff and like, wow, that's... I could just like get out of my apartment, walk down the street and, you know, get like a microwave burrito as opposed to like having to get in my car and do it in like 10-15 minutes. First, let's grab a spray can, and then we'll go back up here to the crane. And, oh, I fucked up. She's dead. Yeah, yeah, it's Jet Set Radio, it's not like a, a normal skating game, like a Tony Hawk or something, where it's like... Where, like, games like that are more about maximizing your score, and something like this, it's about... <sighs> oh well. At least I got this. Okay, I'll grab this one while I'm here. Oh, that was actually really cool. The way I avoided that truck. Wow, that was, that was a horrible, horrible thing to do. Attack somebody with a motorcycle? That's like just straight up vehicular man, uh, homicide. Ah, uh, oh, damn it, I don't know why I'm having a hard time getting that on there, because I have to get over there to actually finish the level. I, I, Oh jeez. Alright, I'm really screwing up now. 
uh, there's just something about like um, about like Japanese media and like the way it kind of it constantly calls out like its own culture. Like you have stuff like like this where it's like, hey, police are violent, or you have something like Phoenix, right? Like, hey, our justice system is kind of fucked up. I still need to play Jet Set Radio Future. I need to pony up the $50 or so for an original Xbox. That's that's actually the one reason I never played it, because I never had the original Xbox. Yeah, like, I know it, it technically runs on Xbox 360, but it has, like, issues, which is why I've stayed away from it. And also, just in general, a lot of, like, Sega games aren't uh, backwards compatible, like Gun Valkyrie. That's a game I've always been curious about. Also, I hear the Toe Jam and Earl game on Xbox is really bad, and I want to give that a shot before the new one comes out and is probably also terrible. That's that's the thing about Toe Jam and Earl. Only one of those games was ever any good, and it's the one that everybody hates, which is the first one. Uh, I think I played the Gundam game on Dreamcast like once. I think one of my friends had it. Like the, I know that there's like a lot of Gundam games that like treat that like try to treat it as like a realistic simulation if Gundams were real, which I kind of appreciate. I have one on. Um, uh, PlayStation 3, that's actually pretty decent. Oh, hold on, I just hit a bus. Now, front mission evolved. Uh, I heard that was awful. And as someone who actually really, really likes Front Mission, I really wanted to not play a bad version of that. Because, like, the whole idea of, like, an action-focused Front Mission, it's not inherently a bad idea, because there was a Gun Hazard on Super Famicom, which was great. But, yeah. I don't know, like... I hear Front Mission and American Company, I'm thinking a uh, company that looks at like stuff like Gundam and says, wow, cool robot, instead of all like the anti-war messages that that series has. Yeah, that would be cool, but the only downside is that like the closest that we've ever gotten to like a cross between Gundam and Metal Gear was like Spec Ops the Line. Which was just a game where it's like here, murder a bunch of people, and then you do it, and then, like, the game will say, Why did you murder all those people? 
You're a horrible monster. You should be tried in the Hague for war crimes. And it's like, no, you told me to do it. It's literally the only way to make progress. Like, it's not like American, and like, I'm not gonna sit here and like, be all like, bagging on Western companies, cause like, they do, like, there are Western companies who know how to make like, a, a game with a message. Like, like, you know, I, I would stick up for something like, uh, like Fallout, like one of the good Fallouts, like the non-Bethesda Fallouts. Up oh, nine eleven, never forget. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm wearing my big dog's nine eleven shirt in honor of the stream. My, my part time job at the convenience store, Tomato. Someone's gonna come in, drop a cassette on the counter, and say this. And I'll say, draw a ticket, please. No prize. Especially since you bought merchandise. Uh, I'll have to, um, I'll have to get back to Mega Man Legends and then finish that game, and then go straight into like Shenmue after that. Cause that game still holds up. A lot of people will say otherwise, but they are wrong. Oh wait, that's a dead end. Because really, everyone's like, Shenmue, it's a game where nothing happens, and then they make a bunch of gay jokes about sailors. Yeah, I mean, Spec Ops was pretty cool, it's just, it's one of those games that had issues with Hold on, I gotta get my my air quotes out. Ludo narrative dissonance. That's right. Or like it has something to say, but it doesn't really say it in terms of its mechanics. It's a lot like uh, Grand Theft Auto that way. Like how in San Andreas you had like Carl Johnson who was like actually like a really nice guy who wanted to do the right thing but then after the cutscenes ended you could just like decapitate an old lady with a samurai sword so. And Spec Ops kind of fell into that kind of category. Oh, uh, here we go. This is one of my favorite characters here. I like Mew. We'll, we'll unlock her with Garum. <coughs> and 
so if I had unlocked all of the hidden characters and then uh, played the game in this order, then I could have unlocked uh, Pots the dog. I probably should have been looking at the game and not the chat, so I can figure out what the trick I was supposed to do was. Oh well. <laughs> uh, I'll just I'll just rewatch it. All right, so I did the first part right. Ah, uh, okay. I undershot. <coughs> Wait, does Garam have a tramp stamp? Oh, he does! That's good for him. I'm walking around with the co-ed special. Hi there. I still maintain that Metal Gear Solid 4 was bad on purpose. Like, it was just Kojima's way of like saying, I don't want to do Metal Gear anymore. Although it is cool that the um, the fan that uh, there are fan servers for Metal Gear Online, so I can play that game again like I did back in uh, 2008. Right, cool, I'm gonna be the Goth Lolita. Apologies, my. I will eventually get over whatever is in my throat and lungs. Yeah, I mean, I've watched Chip Cheese and Let's Plays. Also, I own all of the games and have played through all of them. So I've gotten not just my own take, but like other people's takes on the game. And I fucked up and missed. Yeah, I was just say, I don't know if there are enough hours in the day to go through, like, an entire Let's Play of Metal Gear Solid 4. Like, by itself, not so even including the other games. I mean, definitely, like, Rising. That game is pretty short. And also great. Now I will get these signs here.
And maybe if, um, maybe if Konami ever, like, gets over itself and, um, lets Platinum do Metal Gear Rising 2, maybe then Raiden can have, like, the Vanquish chats and stuff. Because really, the fact that that game kind of, like, exists the way it does is kind of a miracle in itself anyway. So I just kind of take the good with the bad. It's either that or it's, like, whatever disaster Kojima Productions had in mind. Oh, this could be a bad idea. Do this with the tanks. Maybe not. Oh, shit. I thought this was a uh, one deal. Alright, so... Ah. Cool, I was about to check the map. But I didn't have to. Let's get scratching. This is Tokyo's Gorilla Music Broadcaster, Jet Set Radio! Let's go to the mailbag. A letter from Mr. Osaki asks, How do I get rid of these nasty roaches? Easy, just burn your hats down! Benton Cho is ablaze with the GG's graffiti. It's even brighter than the neon lights. After their territory was attacked, them noise tanks ran them up. Their circuits must be fried or something. Maybe they'll be eating dinner for breakfast. <laughs> Go on and get your little doggy back. Noise reduction. I think this one's a boss fight. Or another, like, Markham. So, I'll just pick Garum for this one. Alright, let's find some graffiti first. Uh, no, that's health graffiti. That's the, that's the kind of you huff for its hallucinogenic properties. I forgot, like, the uh, characters like Garum can hold more graffiti because of their power. Like, characters with, like, a high power rating can hold more uh, cans of graffiti. Oh, well. Uh, so, earlier today, before I, well, I was still getting, like, all of my, uh, tech stuff set up for the stream, I was looking at, uh, a screenshot I took of, uh, of the game, and, like, the, the thumbnail, I honestly thought, like, wow, those spray cans kind of look like baby bottles. You think maybe, like, the GGs are, like, a gang of littles? Maybe that's why they're out on the streets, like, little solidarity. Like they use spray cans out in the street and then they go home and use crayons. I mean, they could totally be like a little, like in like, um, like, if Hollywood were to ever do, like, a remake of the Warriors, that would totally be one of the gangs. Like, you'd have, like, the clowns with the baseball bats, and you'd have, like, a bunch of people in, like, footy pajamas. Hey! 
Anyway, now that everyone is watching thinks I'm a total weirdo, let's spray the noise tags. I can get them. They're a little hard to get because they move so much faster than you. Look, the thing is, when you have a lot of friends for littles, you kind of, you get, you get, um, like, insider knowledge of, like, the lifestyle, so I just end up knowing a bunch of stuff. Okay, got him. Man, I don't want to milk a fucking dog, dude. <laughs> don't say things like that. <laughs> hey, I used to dress like that in high school. I was so ashamed of my body, I wore baggy clothes. And, uh, I didn't... Okay, I guess I didn't unlock the noise tanks. Yeah, I used to wear, like, big old baggy jeans and, like, big old hoodies like that. Oh god, a race. Oh, I hate these. These are the worst. It's re- oh. Oh no. And it's weird because, like, I've always been, like, super skinny, but, like, I just didn't like how I looked anyway, so... I feel like this guy got made fun of a lot for it. Wait, where do you go? It's like I used to get made fun of because I was short and really skinny, and now it's like... Those are two traits that like... Yeah, actually I am really small. <laughs> Thank you for noticing. Oh, crap, I hope I still made it. Shit, let me check the map here. Maybe I'll make it. Shit, I think I may have fucked up. Yeah, these, these missions are not fun. You have to go to like a specific part of the map and then hit a tag before the other guy does. And where am I? Compared to him. Yeah, he's gonna get it. Yep, you got it. It's time to reset. Alright. Luckily you don't have to do too many of these. I think I only have to do like one more after this. It's still not fun at all. Let's see if I can beat him now. Oh, 
for better or for worse, people can't see uh, Steam notifications while I'm streaming. Like when Monster Hunter World had come out and everyone was playing it and that had that it had that bug where it would pop up so and so is playing Monster Hunter World like every five seconds. I was thinking, man. I would probably be live streaming my own meltdown and just reading like Gabby is playing Monster Hunter World, Gabby is playing Monster Hunter World. And I won the race. <laughs> All right, yo yo. Let's be yo yo. Let's be me at 17 years old. Alright, first things first, we gotta get some paint. Well, there's actually some right here, never mind. Oh hey. Oh yeah, I should probably check those like graffiti souls I've been picking up. Oh yeah, I could relate to that. Like people were definitely not nice about how ugly they thought I was. And that's not even counting members of my own family. Oh no, now I made the stream dark. Wow, those girls have like deep voices. Do you think the love shockers are also transgender? It's like you spray them and it's like, no! Where's the other one at? Let's see, are you on the map? Let's play my facing. <coughs> there you are. That, that should be the new uh, Streets of Rage. Like, just retcon the fact that everyone's a cop. Uh, find that development team that's working on the game who also made that, like, weird digitized brawler with the Nostalgia Critic and say, hey, make a game where it's a bunch of trans women beating up the police and neo-Nazis. <sighs> Redundant, I know. Haha, <laughs> suck it down, cops. If you ask me, it's just a bunch of bull. Them guys have been erasing a lot of GG graffiti. Are the GGs gonna sit back and take it? The Golden Rhinos and the Rope Cuckoo Project got nothing to do with me. It is dangerous to get involved. But you gotta give back what you take, right? There we go. This is the part where we fight uh, corporations. This is where we beat up capitalism.
Yeah, I like Cube. She looks like a girl I was in too once. Don't say that, you're white. Hey, you. Yeah, alright, this part sucks. We gotta do another race. And this one's actually a lot harder than the other one. This is also where the levels start to open up and we can go like more than one area at a time. Uh, let's not run into that bus. I like how whenever Combo jumps, he sounds like he's like complaining. Like, hey! Like, hey, you got my order wrong, buddy. I wanted a I wanted an egg McMuffin. <sighs> Out of my way, kid. Uh, oh no, I'm stuck in the doorway. That seems to be like a problem in video games, it's like getting stuck on the door frame. Alright, we're we're doing alright. Okay. Damn it! Beat uh, me to it by like a couple seconds. Had I not gotten stuck on the door, I probably would have been fine. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, crap. I wonder if I can... No. I cannot restart the mission. Until I lose. Oh, that was, that was a... Bad. That was a bad start, getting hit by a car like that. I mean, much like in real life, getting hit by a car tends to be really bad. <laughs> Luckily he just kind of stands there if you're too far behind. Stay in front of them. Uh, don't get stuck on the door. Alright, cool. Off to a good start. Oh, shit. Uh, sorry, I know I'm, I'm being like very kind of intense trying to focus on the. Got it. Oh, okay. I remember that being a lot more difficult, like, back in 2005. <coughs> but, no, it only took me a couple tries. Alright, here's where I'll probably get uh, VOD muted later. Because it's here's where all the American music comes in. Grind City, my turf. My name's Combo, and me, Cube, and Coin used to own the 
Banton Street area in this city. It's a little far from Tokyo, but everyone used to stay out of our way there. Until recently, that is. Someone been going around painting these ugly signs all over Grand City. It's so ugly I can't even call it graffiti. Strange paintings of rhinos and bizarre symbols. All of our old graffiti yep, covered up. There's definitely signs. some Rob Zombie in here. Coin has been kidnapped and his enormous but to make up for it though, it does have Jurassic 5. Ever since the emergence of these paintings, strange things been happening in this city too. It's funny because I got the album that um, this song is on around the same time I got this game. I'm just listening to it like, yeah, this, this album, it's awesome. <laughs> so now let's go to America, but I'm going to be Cube. And my favorite thing about the Rob Zombie track is that it's literally just two lines repeated over and over. It's like it's like I'm dissociating, but in music form. Uh, I thought it was supposed to play in uh, this uh, level, but I guess not. Gotta do the big signs first, because this is where the game actually starts to get hard. But yeah, I don't really hate the like American music, so like the like a lot of other people really do. Probably because I'm, you know, I don't have an issue with hip hop at the least. I'm a 90s kid, of course I love me some hip hop. That was like that was like some of the best rap music in the world in like of all time was made in that period. Oh shit. Nah, I fucked up and I gotta get more paint anyway. I just gotta find some first. <laughs> uh, not here. Uh, oh yeah, the skate park. Watch out kids, I'm coming through. Sorry, I know I'm not saying much, I'm just like really liking this <laughs> really liking this this uh this music. I'm just kinda nodding my head to it while I'm skating around looking for spray paint. It's not going to play Rob Zombie on this one. Nope, it's going to switch to, um... Fuck, I forgot who this was. The, the other hip-hop group that wasn't Jurassic 5. Professional murder music or cold 
known for their amazing album, 13 Ways to Bleed on Stage. That album fucking sucked, by the way. I actually listened to it when I was um, in high school. During my, my goth phase. I know it's hard to... I, I think anyone who's ever seen me or been around me for more than a few minutes is like, how in the fuck could you ever have a goth phase? And well, I wish I could tell you, man. I'm like that, that goth girl in um, the Blair Witch 2 who's like laying on a tree in, the, in like the trailer. That nice to get up there. And oh, I didn't get all of them. I thought that was the last one. Oh no, I have like four more to go, okay. And, oh, they're all over here. Okay, this guy's got the electric whip. Uh, and the other two... Up here. Whoa. Yep, there they are. Cool. With assassin number five. Cool. cool, I'll just uh, go ahead and do that. on a piece of graffiti. I think it was from Coin. He told me to go to Grind Square. It seems like the punks that have been painting those ugly pieces of art have been hanging around Grind Square, too. They probably already know that we've been painting over their stuff with our own symbols. They may be dangerous, but we can't let them take over. It's time to throw a little spray paint party and see if they come and try to crash it. <sighs> Spray paint party. I I hear that phrase. And I just think like a bunch of people like in a gr like an unventilated garage, just like huffing chemicals. Huh? Where is the Rob Zombie? I mean, he wasn't taken out of this game. We saw him in the sound test. I, I like the way this level looks, I just don't really like the way it's designed, where it's constantly... You pretty much have to constantly be in the air. Oh, I'm gonna get hurt. I don't hate the American levels that much. I know they, they're kind of... They're considered to be kind of controversial because it's like, oh, I don't like the music and I don't like all this America crap in my Japanese video game, but yeah, it's alright. Oh crap, I fucked up my jump. That's on the other side. So what I want to do is... I want to get onto that big sign first. And then I can run around and tag all the other stuff. I just want to get the big, big, big tags out of the way. Oh, for 
first I need to actually get speed. Actually, I could probably hit. Ah, fuck. Uh, well, also I'm missing my jumps a lot too. I should. Why can't I teleport like they can? car insurance. I mean, I think a lot of people did before the economic crash of 2008. Right, there's one. And, ah, uh, shit. And now everyone's on me. Oh, there's a. I just feel there's another tag here on the ground level that I want to get before I forget about it. And I think that I think everything else is up on the air, like up on a building or something. Yeah. Okay. I I know this is very exciting. This watching me go up the same elevator over and over, but. And internally, I'm just kind of yelling, where is the Rob Zombie? Where is Dragula? Where's the parody song I read on Twitter like a month ago about Elvira Strap-On? Oh, shit. Made it. I'm just making it like the most ass-backwards way possible. And, uh... Where the bot meeting might come in with the Jurassic Five. And I'm uh, gonna grind. No speed. No speed. I'm gonna very slowly run over there just so I can get onto the fake Statue of Liberty. Oh, it is a replay of that, really? Well, on the plus side, I don't have to deal with the guys electrifying the wires anymore. Oh wait, no. I spoke too soon. I still have to deal with them. One helicopter. Oh, uh, oh! I think I got hit by. Uh, I think I got hit by the electricity because I did not jump. 
So if you get hit by electricity while you're grinding, you just immediately fall off. Which is kind of why this level kind of drags the way it does. I have to go on this side. Try to get more of those tags. And shit. I probably should have gotten those ones first. Oh well. Let's see if I can. Nope. Not anywhere near enough speed. There's no Rob Zombie. What that? This is like the last level in America before we get back to Japan. And oh, how many do I have left? Oh, that's it. I can't believe this. <sighs> There's no Rob Zombie. Uh, lame. Oh well. Alright, well, uh, last chapter. I don't know why, but I thought this game would be longer. I'm gonna be cube again. drop down because this is uh, a bigger level stuck up on that awning real quick. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, there's like a bomb around here. And there too. Knock all 
zombies out. Try to do them area by area. And I still have two more over here to do. And, uh. I guess I was too close to that exploding car. Other one. Other side. I think there's actually two over there. Cool. Oh, they're up there. Okay. And, oh, jeez. Still made it. And, oh, shit. This area. I guess not. Oh. oh, we can go to Applebee's. Or sorry, Cherry Parlor. And I overshot the truck. And, ah, oh, jeez. I might as well get a few extra points, why not? And, did, ah, uh, dang. I was hoping I could do something neat and make it that way. Oh. Hold on, I'm having a hard time with my jumps here. Uh, now the cops aren't even hiding their clan affiliations. This is police brutality. Literally. Out of here. And I think I got all the ones here. I did. Total lack of Rob Zombie kind of took the wind out of my sails. I had like a million ironic jokes ready to go, but now I can't. Now I can't save them because Sega is committing transphobia against me. Yeah. 
Yeah, it sounds like you're kind of like it sounds like Cube has a stuttering problem now. Get him there before I get got on that. <sighs> and ah, shit. Hoping I'd be able to. Alright, got him. Oh, that was the last one. No, you don't. No, you don't. Jet set radio. We got another letter from Osaki. He says, yeah, maybe I shouldn't I play as uh, maybe I shouldn't play as Cube if I want more points. It turns out the Volcanoes are a secret branch of the Rokuku group. They're a dangerous bunch, cool and cruel. They got a martini in one hand and a switchblade in the other. Looks like they're wiping out everyone who tries to hang on the street. Go on and hit them back. Make them cool, you know, I was expecting to like take like the entire stream to do like half the game, but I mean we're almost done. I might as well just go the rest of the way through. Alright, Piranha, she's a cool character, I like her. Yeah, I can do that. I've I've done significantly more difficult. But then again, I f oh shit. And I, as soon as I say that, I mess up. But also, this challenge was made uh, before the American levels were added. Because originally, uh, that those two levels were not in the original version. Those were added in the US release and then put back into uh, uh, De La Jet Set Radio, which was a special edition in Japan. So yeah, this will be a lot easier than doing the cube and combo uh, levels. up there. I if I remember right, I think Piranha actually has like the highest graffiti stat. So if you're looking for points to like try and get like the jet rank, you pretty much play as her throughout the whole game. Unless you're doing like a uh, like a like a tag mission, in which case you want to pick someone like Garum, who has like a lot of health. These are just like optional um, missions for points. I'm not going to do those. That was kind of long and monotonous. Kind of dull after a point. There we go. Which ones are here? Ah, right. Uh, 
and shit. The guys from that BC Boys video are just attacking me. And... Oh, that's actually the only one here. Now that's optional. Doesn't matter, we're not really doing this for score. Although I will have to come back here and get more spray cans. Because this is like the hard part of trying to get all these like big signs of like these guys just kind of doing damage by blocking you. Back over. We filled my spray paint. That, that was a cool trick I did there. Alright, let me head back over there. Because that actually is like the toughest part of the level. The rest of this area is actually pretty. I don't want to say like easy, but easier. Yeah. You know, and I'm not like diving into traffic like a fucking idiot. Or missing my jumps like that. At least we're not falling through the floor like like I was in uh, Sonic Adventure. That was just a pain. It's Sonic Adventure 1, I mean, not not Sonic Adventure 3, which we are clearly playing. Hopefully I'd be able to jump over him. Whatever. Take damage to save time. <coughs> Ow. I know that didn't hurt me in real life, but it probably would have if, if it were. How many more do I have left here? Two more. And they're probably both up here. Yep, I see one, and I see the other right there. will refill a little of my life while I'm here. It's kind of uh, shitty, like the only real way to refill your paint is to just keep coming back to this one area. But whatever. I'm not, I'm not about to question the loyalty, or question the power of my god, uh, Sega. Sega Enterprises Limited. Yeah, you all thought that my god was actually the flying spaghetti monster. What with uh, how often I go to Barnes and Noble and uh, put copies of the Bible in the fiction section. I mean, there is a picture of me wearing a fedora, and it was taken this year. God, 
that one. So now I just gotta get the ones on the walls and the uh, gold rhino statues down here. Right, now it's time to jump down here. <coughs> I like the way they just kind of go down the stairs like that. Going this way. This game is, is so sick. I don't think I've said enough like that Jet Set Radio is like a really good game. But I think it just because that goes without saying. Oh shit. Yeah, you couldn't you couldn't survive a train, a subway train in the Warriors, but you could do it here. <laughs> Speaking of old stuff, I haven't seen that movie in a long time. And, oh, I'm back here. I was actually hoping it would take me elsewhere. I guess while I'm here, I might as well, <laughs> might as well stock up on a uh, spray kit. Oh, that's right. I have to go into that tunnel over there. I'll show you when I get over there. Where you going? I don't remember like hitting walls this often, but I definitely know that wasn't something new added to the added to this version because they didn't add anything new to this. Well, aside from uh, dual analog controls and. Uh, a selection of tracks from Jet Set Radio Future, which can only be accessed from the menu, not in-game. And... Crap, where's the... here. I wanna go here. Where is Jet Set Radio Future, Sega? But don't tell me to go buy an Xbox One, because... no. I'm, I'm not doing that. Well, I was really worried I was going to miss that. Because during my test run earlier tonight, I actually missed that jump, like, several times. Alright, this is going to be tough. Because there would be dudes flamethrowers everywhere. And I gotta tag that. And that's actually the last one I gotta tag. Just, just fight through the pain. She definitely has the highest graffiti stat. Jet Set Radio! And now, this report from our informant, Inventor Cho, the pink no shijin. The thing everyone's been hunting for like crazy is something called the Devil's Contract. It's a record that's got the power to summon a demon. The streets of Tokyo To are in a panic, and we're gonna have to cut off this broadcast soon. Can the Chi-Chi's graffiti save this city? Oh wait, shit, I forgot. One more thing before I continue. Let's switch out our graffiti. We've been using the same graffiti for a while. 
Oh, I like that one. We'll go with that. <coughs> ah. Ah, sure, why not? Okay, we'll go with that. And, uh... Yeah, let's see, I bit everyone else. Let's just be Piranha again. Let's just, let's just get a bunch of points. <laughs> Why not? This mission could be a little tough because there are snipers and guys on jetpacks. Right, just make sure I don't miss anything. And here, one of my one of my favorite songs in the whole game, that isn't Rob Zombie. So I gotta. So I'll probably just be quiet for a bit. Ah. And, and, yeah, I guess this almost kind of self-explanatory. I'm just spray painting stuff on the roof. And really, that that needed its own replay. Oh jeez, oh jeez, I'm getting really close to falling too. That's it for the, no, I got a couple more, it looks like. Anything here? Ah, okay. I see what I missed. Grab that, grab that, grab that too. There's a whole bunch of goodies over there. One. Oh, right here. And hold on, I just saw something. Uh, I don't think they're supposed to be shooting for this long. I I think I encountered okay good. I think I encountered a bug, because they are not supposed to be shooting for that long. Alright, I think the rest of them are down here. Man, those guys they got a lot of ammo. Yeah, 
this one just kind of kind of slow. I do one or two tags, then I immediately flee. Oh, yes. And ah, oh, jeez, I. There we go. As I say, I. I know that's not a. That's not a three-parter. And how many are left? Got six. Oh, I guess there are uh, other areas to go through. Go on this side. Oh, yeah, there's that one up here. Ah, I can get up there. I just gotta figure out the last area. Um, not there, because I was that's where I came from. I think there's another exit on the other side. I could be wrong, but... Oh, no, I was right. I was like, yeah, there's another exit. My memory hasn't completely failed me yet. And... Oh. Uh, it, maybe I'll go up, so down. I'll just go down to see if something pops up. Let's go through the door. So I've already been here. I don't better worry about those green arrows. tear through all these homes again. That's always a fun thing to do. Um, huh. I can't believe it, but I might actually be lost in Jet Set Radio. Oh, nice water effects. I guess I just gotta figure out how to get over there. Sorry, I, I, I know I keep checking the map, but... Uh, that's a problem when like the levels start to open up like this, is that it's like... It's very easy to miss like the last handful of uh, the tags you need to get. Oh. 
<laughs> there were two exits on this side. I only took one. Sorry about that. Do that. That works. Uh, that's right, I can't grind on that wall. Alright, cool. Alright, now I can get up to the top. And, uh, I don't like the size of that sign. Okay, it's only a three-part sign. Oh, that took long enough. That's right. uh, uh, exactly. Yeah, that was not a good score. Jet Set Radio! The nasty replica bokeh have all been covered up by GG Graffiti. Way to go! But when they weren't looking, someone swiped the record. You gotta go after them, right? Yo! Alright, weird looking uh, Bert from Sesame Street wants to challenge us. What do you got? Oh god, another race. Fuck. <sighs> uh, I thought we were done with these. We are not done with these. Uh, I don't like the races in Jet Set Radio. I don't think I can say that enough. I don't like the races in Jet Set Radio. Crap. Oh. Not enough speed. Now I got speed. At least that door is closed so I know which way to go. Map again. There'll be a lot of map checking going on. Well, actually, this is like the last time I'll have to do it. After this, it's uh, one more uh, tag mission against Poison Jam and then the last level. And then we'll be done with Jet Set Radio. A uh, good way to spend almost two and a half hours. <coughs> oh god, I can hear his voice in the distance. Alright, now where's the fucking tag at? It's at the end. Ah, I see it. I may have made that look easy, but that was not fun at all. Man, what are you looking at, dick nose? 
I might as well play as Slate. We just unlocked him. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, so we just got to tag Poison Jam, like I said, and that's boss time against Goji Rokoku. Ah, uh, shit, I probably should grab those other cans. Oh well. Shit. Um. Hey, that works. It's just kind of hard to get, keep on Poison Jam because they are very fast in this level and they take a lot of sharp turns and they make a lot of jumps and shit that are very hard to deal with, but it's not too much trouble. Alright, one down. All I gotta do is grab more paint and figure out where the other two went. Yeah. Oh, I'm stuck on that. I don't know what that was. And I got enough to take out one. I hear them. I bet they are back at the start of the level. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Yep, there they are. And, ah, uh, damn it, they just sort of vanished on me again. They like to go up on, like, the rooftop and stuff. And I like to wait for them to come back down. Uh, where'd the other one go? Come back this way. Like I said, it's it's kind of hard to keep track of them. There they are. Come back here! Stop being so fast. Ah. And making jumps that I keep messing up. I think I just saw him go down here. Or maybe I was looking at the sign. Screw it, I'm just gonna get you. Alright, where is he? Now we got one left and I have no idea where he is. I hear him, but I don't see him. No, oh, please stop getting stuck on things. And a 
right on him. And, ah, uh, jeez. Uh, hold on, I've, now I'm, I'm stuck in the corner. Let me out, let me out. Alright, well, now we're... Oh, there you are. Uh. Finally. Alright, we're done. I do not care what my score is. Oh, it actually wasn't even that bad. <coughs> I thought it'd be much lower. Everybody's looking for is already missing. According to some info we got from Poison Jam, it sounds like that record's the real thing. It was made by some freaky evil sound engineer. And it can pass hand to hand all the way to Tokyo. Goji wants to use the record to make a contract with a demon so he can take over Tokyo and the rest of the world. If those guys get all the pieces, Tokyo, this radio station, sushi, ramen, hamburgers, and everything else is going to be history. Get to the new Rokuku headquarters and destroy that record, along with Goji's evil plan. All right, time for the last level. I'm going to be Mew, my favorite character. Because it does not matter, because there's no score for the stage. And this level kind of sucks, but we'll get through it. <clears throat> You'll see what I mean. This record, we're on like a record and it spins. And the more damage we do, the faster it goes. So what we're doing is we're going across to these areas. And we are spraying them. And, ah, dang. I was hoping I'd be able to make it and... Uh, I gotta make it before the that part collapses. Oh shit! And I didn't make the jump. And you always take uh, two hits. Gotta do this four times, so we're almost halfway there. And, okay, now we are officially halfway there. I see it grab some more spray cans. Yeah, the spinning gets a lot faster now, which makes it a little hard to control insofar as like how you move and how you land because of like physics and stuff. Alright, so only one left, and it's over here, but I need to get, like, I need to stock up on paint first. And... where is it? Okay, nope, there it is. Alright, and... Oh, yeah. 
Alright, the last one. And then we have to tag Goji himself. And, oh jeez, now I'm on fire. And, oh, I missed that jump too. It's okay. I'll just treat that as a shortcut. Now what do we do? Just get into a position where I could grind on these rails and then I could just tag Goji overhead. In theory, anyway. Now if I get it, then we're done. Yeah, hey Nair, this is the last level of Jet Set Radio. <laughs> if I can get out of there. Yeah. Which is eh, easier said than done. Sometimes you either get it immediately or you kind of struggle like I'm doing now. It's it's either or. This is, what I, this is what I meant when I said, like, the momentum kind of works against you here. And if I can get further around, that would be great. There we go. That's it. We did it. That huge turntable of evil, the Rokaku building, is a pile of dust, right along with the Rokaku scheme. <coughs> now they're saying that the building Ooh, that was destroyed in a that construction hurt. accident. Yeah, right. But now, Goji's son is taking over the Rokaku family business, and Tokyo is back to its glorious old self. Turns out the Golden Rhinos were just another group of Goji's henchmen. That explains a lot. However, not all ended well. Coin had been pulled too deep into the schemes of the Rakaku and paid a steep price. And all because Goji was obsessed with control. He didn't know how to deal with people that he couldn't buy with his money. Maybe it really is lonely at the top. Or maybe he's just another eccentric millionaire. Let us say the money is the root of all evil. Maybe it really can twist the hearts of men. It turns out the record that Goji was looking for, the devil's contract, was just an old indie record, a hoax. Maybe his twisted mind created the whole story out of rumors and superstitions in order to try and save the demons of his own heart. Nevertheless, the noise tanks are in repair. The love shockers are all broken-hearted again, but Poison Jam is back and planning more mystery. In the end, it looks like they were the same as all of us after all. They've been looking for something more, just trying to make sense of their own lives. Perhaps not, but how can anyone know the real truth behind it all? All right, and that that's it. That that is the end of Jet Set Radio. Let's look at and there are that that graphical glitch is not supposed to be there. Uh, the PC version does have some problems. I had to actually open up the game's EXE file in a hex editor and mess around with it just so that the game would actually save. Uh, yeah, yeah, this game has an issue where it won't actually save unless you um, hack the game yourself. It, which is weird because it used to work fine, but then Sega updated the game and just completely fucked it. But even in this state, it's still an incredible game. So, uh, 
you know, uh, as always, thanks to everyone who came by and watched, and thanks to everyone who will eventually watch this on YouTube, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but, you know, we had fun. I had fun. We had some conversations. Things happened. Uh, we got a got a big blue thing that blocks the screen. Yeah, no problemo. Uh, I will probably be back on Sunday uh, to continue with more Sonic Adventure. Because uh, we finished with Sonic, so we'll go through with Tails. Um, depending on how that goes, I might just stop with that point. Unless it's short enough, then I can go and continue with Knuckles as well. Um, but, you know, we'll see. Because I am eventually going to have that Sonic Adventure finished before the month is out. So if it means doing it both on Wednesday and Sunday, then so be it. I just want to have it, you know, I just want to have Dreamcast games done for Dreamcast month. And then uh, we'll see where things go from there. Maybe I'll get back into Mega Man Legends. Uh, maybe uh, if my if my uh, capture device comes in and everything works well, I'll do some cool shit for Halloween when October comes along. But that's all in the future. I'll, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Gabby is now playing Monster Hunter World. I'll have to eventually figure out how to get a Steam notification showing up on the on the video recording. I'm gonna dox her for all the other hunters out there. She can get some assistance with the uh, Nier Gigante or something. Thanks for playing. No, you're welcome, Sega. Thank you. Thank you for making this video game. A game that gave me a highly romanticized vision of Japan. That sequence is supposed to come up after the music ends, but whatever. Uh, anyway, thanks everyone for coming, and I will see you next time. Uh, yeah, bonus was the uh, was the uh, Jet Set Radio Future music. Anyway, peace out, everyone.